Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwa Bloom. So today we will be looking at polynomials. So before that subscribe and click the bell icon. Okay, so we will be discussing polynomials class 8 AM3 challenges. So second question we will see in this video. So let's start. So second question says that find the HCF of x cube plus 4x square plus x minus 6 and x cube minus 1 so we have to hence find the value for x for both the polynomials vanish so here one uh, polynomial is given to us and we have to find the value of x where this both the polynomials will get vanished that means it will get it will go off so in that criterion we have to find the value of x so it's actually a lengthy problem so let's see this so you should be capturing the screenshot as soon as possible so this is the given data in the question so we will consider p of x as the first one okay first uh, a polynomial for the first first one okay first time we will consider this so what we have to do we have to do the trial and error method as i have already told in the for aim 2 we have done right this trial and error method we will do with this so first let's take x as 1 p of 1 then it will be 1 cube minus 4 into 1 square plus 1 minus 6 right so 1 cube is 1 and 4 4 into 1 is 4 only minus 4 plus 1 minus 6 so 1 plus 1 is 2 and uh, so when we solve this so we have a minus 6 minus 4 minus 10 and so our answer will be 0 right so therefore x minus 1 is a factor okay so if a plus 1 is factor means x minus 1 will be a factor right because we have equated to 0 then x is equal to 1 so one factor we found it now uh, take a capture a screenshot because I will clear full board. Yes. Now we have to do this division method. Like it's very new to you I know that. But we have to study this. So x minus 1 will be the divisor. Like how you do normal division like that only. Then fp of x will be here. That is x cube plus 4x square plus 6 minus 6 and our coefficient will be there in the right side now so we how we should do this is very simple only simple method only so this x will be there right with how many times this will divide so you will get like x cube by x you have to solve it so 1 will be the power right so 1 will get cancelled so it is x square so this x square you will put in the coefficient side and you will divide the x cube and you will get the answer okay in that way we have to do but i'll say how to do it. it's not so tough but not so easy also but very confusing i'm sure about this so first you will put x square and x cube you will subtract and before subtracting we have minus one also right so with this how much time it will go with x square minus x square okay so say this whatever is there here we will put we have to put it here with oppo with a minus sign because every time normally we will use minus only no so here let's just subtract so this will become plus minus into minus is plus right so this both will get cancelled and 4x square plus x square is 5x square and this term will get down this up plus, plus, plus x okay bring it down it becomes uh, as it is plus x now this x again you should multiply. so here we have now 5x square so with how many times you have to multiply that means 5x square by 5x x so x one times so of 5x we have to do multiplication where in easy way i am explaining plus 5x so 5x square 
then minus 5x same thing opposite sign i have told so this subtraction we will do this uh, uh, minus into minus is plus then this will become 6x right because our addition now minus 6 will come down so until here it's possible for me to do here uh, remaining i will do at once once you copy this okay i will just try fitting it here so i have tried fitting it so 6 x minus 6 will come down now 6 x by x what is it 6 right so we will add 6 here plus 6 and we will divide by 6 x minus 6 so now everything will become 0 because here minus and here it will become plus so minus 6 plus 6 will become 0 so take one screenshot it's really tough i know i understand here zero is there this will be minus now you can take it yeah so it's a little bit tough only to understand because up it is little space and down there's no space is there so it's fine we can adjust right now zero is the reminder so this is uh, this is the so actually this is what biquadratic uh, polynomial right now we find we found the trinomial for it or quadratic one so like that we found it this one so now we have to do something with this also right why we found simply no right something to do right that one we will do it now okay okay so i'm deleting again now uh, we have this uh, polynomial just now which we wrote x square plus 5x plus 6 this is there right so we are going to factorize this that means we are going to find the factors for this okay let's find that sorry how we will find by factorizing like x square now this 6 will be there no like how we got that this coefficient and this number will be multiplied that will be 6 so 1 into 6 is 6 right so with which criterion you will get 5 so when you multiply it will become 6 when you add these two numbers it should become 5 so like that we have to do that numbers so we will find it it is 2 and 3 right 2 3 is i 6 but 2 plus 3 is 5 so we will put x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 and the common what you will get here obviously x right so x into x plus 2 here already x is taken common so 2 will be there plus here x3 will be common right and x plus 2 because 3 2 is a 6 so this one not, not under con uh, this consideration because or else i will just erase this it's not an issue because it will confuse us again you will get confused i will get confused okay so x plus 2 so these two are common right same right so we will take that as common x plus 2 now uh, then x plus 3 is the remaining factor so we found the factors for this uh, p of x now totally how many factors we found everything once we will write it okay so we already knew one one factor right before itself that is x minus one so that only we got this equation also so that therefore the factors of the p of x sorry not neat handwriting factors of given p of x what are they x minus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 so the last two just now we found and x plus x minus 1 very previously we found it now g of x will be x cube minus 1 cube right and it is already given right before only we know that x cube minus 1 cube x cube minus 1 but we can write it like that also right so we wrote it 
now what we have to do for now take a screenshot again so for this we will find factors okay for this also we will find factors and then common factor we will see now for this uh, a cube minus b cube like that it is there right it is a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square formulas are very important learn this formula now it is x cube minus 1 cube is equal to x minus 1 and x square plus x plus 1 i didn't write any 1 again because 1 into x is obviously x only so i didn't write that again then we have g of x is equal to x minus 1 and x square plus x plus 1 and p of x is equal to x minus 1 all that p of x factors we will write x plus 2 x plus 3 and then common what we are having x minus 1 so hcf is x minus 1 over so lengthy problem it actually took so much time right so take a screenshot do like share and subscribe to wish we'll see the third question in the next video bye for now thanks for watching